Hey, what's going on everybody? It is your boyfriend here bringing you a brand new video and today I'm going to show you how to preload your Destiny 2 game, your digital version or your regular uh, digital deluxe edition uh, from the PlayStation Store. You're going to go ahead and hit the PlayStation Store icon. You're going to scroll all the way to the bottom until you see redeem codes. Once you see that, on your receipt from GameStop, there should be a 12 digit voucher code um, it'll be highlighted at the bottom, usually they highlight it for you, or they circle it or something. If not, it's way, way, way at the bottom, next to a little, uh, barcode. You're gonna go ahead and enter that in. And if you didn't pre-order from GameStop, uh, if you downloaded it straight from the PlayStation Store, uh, you should be able to start this preload too. Um, just go ahead and search up Destiny 2, if it is paid for already, uh, in the PlayStation Store, and if not, if you did pre-download it from uh, the Bungie website. You should have gotten a receipt in your email if you did pay for it also. After you're done entering your 10 digit, I mean your 12 digit code, you should see this confirmation. You're gonna hit confirm Destiny 2 Digital Deluxe Edition. That is the one that I received if you did get this version or the regular version. Go ahead and just hit confirm and then you're gonna go ahead and wait for it to show up. Redeem code, you're gonna hit continue. And there it is, your new content, Destiny 2, five days away. You're gonna hit the download little button there. Um, now it shows that it's added to your downloads. You can go to your notifications. For me, it says you cannot download Destiny 2 because um, I had too much, uh, I didn't have enough space on my hard drive. I had like tons of stuff that was taking up space, uh, but here you can see that uh, I did delete a bunch of stuff that I wasn't playing anymore and it is now downloading. Uh, it takes a little while to download. Uh, there's an update file along with the uh, all the data to start the application. I think it's 32 gigs of data, something around that. So make sure you have enough space on your uh, PlayStation 4 or your hard drive that you're using for your PlayStation 4. By the way, this is only on the PlayStation 4. I'm not sure if you can go ahead and pre-download it for the Xbox One, uh, if you can, or on PC. Uh, I would check up on that, uh, see the uh, Destiny uh, Twitter account, or the uh, there's a Destiny Intel Twitter account too. Uh, they might be able to help you out with that. But if you guys did enjoy today's video, don't forget to leave a like, rate, comment, subscribe. I'm hyped for Destiny 2. I'm ready to make Destiny videos again. I've been doing Call of Duty ones for the time being. But I haven't played Destiny 1 in, I want to say, like, two months or something like that since the last Iron Banner. Uh, even before that, I didn't even play the last Iron Banner. I think I made a video on it, and I didn't even make the rewards video because it, it's dead. It was dead. Um, a lot of people still been playing the game, though. Uh, I could see why. I, I would play through the story mission again if I had the time, but with school and, and work, uh, I've just I've been trying to make videos when I can, and if I can't, then... You know, that's, uh, I have my priorities in order. Uh, and then on top of that, the World War II Private Beta, uh, last weekend and this weekend are live again. So I've been playing that uh, a ton, and it is so much fun. Uh, I'm tired of uh, jumping around in these spacesuits on uh, the past three years on Call of Duty. So very exciting. Again, uh, no more rambling. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.